caused by the work to rule action by workers. It's all systems go this weekend. The home side worry will sticking on lobby stars from Makurdi in north central Nigeria. That's in Benue State. The two sides are not new to each other. At least in the last four years or so, they've really been uh, doing their thing. The Wari City Stadium is not entirely full, but uh, a good clutch of spectators are already. My name is Bowie, Bowie Atama. And with me is Ralph Chiduzia George. And together we'll be running through the commentaries today. But first, we want to bring you up to date on the team sheets. Uh, the tip sheets for the two sides, the whole hands are in goal. Good luck on Namado is the captain today. He's their regular captain. Adama Kulibali, the import, foreign import is here. Chidozie Johnson. Bunde Hungua is there. Your we your Wese Utaha. Anthony uh, Agbaula. Forgive Bendia. Ezekiel Bas. Encounter and there it is. And off we go now. It's uh, Lobby Stars taking the kickoff. And uh, quite an ambitious run there. That's not a bad one. One expected a cross to come. And Bunde Hungua. Well, it's, uh, it promises to be a very exciting game before the interruptions begin. Good football. Just as we're going to see some fireworks, uh, the corner comes roaring in now. And the header, glancing header it was meant to be, but it just didn't connect very well with Michael Igbeta. I just to add that uh, the deputy governor of the state is the chairman of the team. <laughs> what do I say? Yes, indeed, Deputy Governor of Benue State, uh, Lawani, is a football lover. And I understand he played for the youth side of Manchester United the, many years ago. And a uh, good cross coming, but too far away. Oh, he got, couldn't get his uh, toe strong enough on that ball. And uh, Wari was coming again. Charging this time through Michael Egbeta. Orchestrating the midfield for Wari Wolves. to go through the middle but it just wasn't going to happen for two for them a better now a better is shoved off the ball is a free kick to worry wolves a better with the throw worry wolves with an opportunity to come forward again they are there it's cross called for and they are claiming handball, but the referee is not impressed. One would expect that uh, that's a lot of reliance on him. A wing back that has proven that he can go forward, uh, throw in to Wari Woods. Duke one, Mike Kukoyo to Mike Egbeta. One Michael to another. Back from that uh, little bit of time out injury, injured. Azubi Kekwekwe with the throw, it goes in and the header takes the ball and it is a goal. The equalizer. Oh, what a glorious header it was. And what a meant to measure throw from Azubi Kekwekwe. And before you could say Jack Robinson, it is even terms between these two sides. And what a time to equalize. No relenting at all by Wari Wolves. They kept attacking and attacking and searching for that equalizer. And it finally came. Did it finally came for a better great goal it was the goalkeeper mistimed it there the throwing came and of course uh, great header it was a pigeon both the goalkeeper and also number thirty three shared Okuma Moses they were all going for it great header from a better the equalizer for Luby stars all attempts for Luby stars to head the ball out did not uh, pay uh, get any fruit one one beg your pardon Lobby Stars uh, took the lead and uh, Warri Wolves came back strongly to equalize and it's still 1-1. Mike Egbeta, uh, the scorer of uh, the equalizer for Warri Wolves. And again, not a good first touch. And that could have been a leader as that one aimlessly is thrown away. Another close shape for Lobby Stars, another unlucky moment for Warri Wolves. Very close. Uh, whatever Egbeta has selected the ball, you can sense danger. And uh, danger it was that time at a six yard box of Lobby Stars. But just being saved again. The second touch let him down. 
And it's where he was taking over now, Mike Egbeta. A good pass from Egbeta to Odwekbe. Ogogo Odwekbe back to Egbeta. Egbeta orchestrating the midfield and sending that one long across and it's well timed. Perfect pass. And where he was coming forward again, oh good trickery. A shot called for, it's not a shot and it's not really a cross in the end. Uh, Egbeta trying to decide what to do with the ball. Okoyo. Back to Egbeta. Oh, that was intended for Egbeta. And he just wasn't going to get there. That was another lead. Themselves. But at the moment, it is a good one. A good one coming from Mike Okoyo. Oh, he rolls it gently. He did not know that to do it better. Looking for Mike Okoyo. Mike Okoyo to Mike Egbeta. And it's a throw into Wari Woods. Beautiful combination between these two Michaels, Egbeta and Okoyo. They've been the live wire in the attack of Wari Wolves at the moment. Tiakasi just getting his foot onto the ball. Imenga giving the ball away. Tiakasi, so he wants to be careful with this center referee, Garba Hamza. He is not prepared to take any prisoners today. A gentle back pass from Forgive Bengia. And uh, the Wolves take over again. A better. Taking cool care of his opposite number. Kulibali. And of course, <laughs> Paul Langbogun taking notes. Uh, give him that opportunity. And it's so good. Well, he's towed forward. But to Dukwe did a good thing by laying that ball back. It was the finish that was lacking. It was from an impossible angle, but we've seen goals as scored from that angle. But that it is a good operator in the midfield. And one expresses that that's why he was brought on to join the fray. And a good one, then the flag goes up. I, I thought that was a good pass. I thought it was also onside. But uh, the assistant referee number one, Peter Okungwa from Lagos State, says he was offside. It's an enthralling encounter here at the Warri City Stadium. It is uh, effectively match day two in the Nigerian Premier League. It is a week four fixture. It's a little bit complicated here, but uh, that also because what we are witnessing is uh, the 2012-2012 season of the Nigerian Premier League. <laughs> it's a shortish throw this time. Michael Egueta. And it was the newcomer, Augustine. Ball came in, he was onside, and that's a certainty. He was he actually scoring, scoring a rebound. Indeed, it was a rebound, and he ran in from uh, behind those two defenders, and what a celebration. But I'm, but I'm sure this would uh, constitute one of the talking points of this game, whether or not he was offside. Now look at that again. You see where he was when that pass, when that ball came in. And you can see Judah Neke, one, two, three, four. Lobby Stars players actually. And Neke now runs back in to head the ball in up a rebound. That was the crowd solidly behind them now. Michael Better. Tip forward, but I expect some resolute defending. And bringing the ball still backwards. And Wari Wolves showing some nimble footedness here. And a good run, but uh, good defending again from Bobby Stars.